Texas software consultant who's brought along some people to root him on, including his lovely wife Leslie, his son Jason, his daughter Sophie. Actually, those are your two youngest children out of 10 kids ages 27 to 9. We're going to put up the picture of all of them. And your first test is going to be name them for in descending order. Does that bring me up to 10 questions? or No, no, oh. no, no. It's one question. Go. Okay. Lindsay, Jonathan, Daniel, Rachel, Jacob, Julie, Emily, Jesse, Jason, Sophie. Give them a round of applause. <laughs> now, could you ever do that again? If it comes out with a different set of names, they know I faked it. <laughs> well, you've come to the right place. I have the Capital One check for a million dollars yeah. because that's what, about a year's worth of pasta exactly. on your table. You know, sure. kids, we get fresh milk this week. <laughs> okay. Well, you are 15 questions away from a lot of fresh milk. Here are your categories, just so you see what you are up against. You know about the rules. You know the lifeline. So what do you say, Jay? Are you ready to play? I'm ready. I'm ready, too. Let's play. <laughs> Fifteen seconds on that clock, Jay, for one hundred dollars. Let's see the question. As a gesture of respect, men customarily remove their hats during which of these songs? Jingle Bells, The Star Spangled Banner, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Let's get it on. That's Being what you always say, Leslie. Star Spangled Banner. Final. Final. Yes. Yeah, sorry, you got it right. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss what you said. Good job, Jay. Go for two hundred. Okay. In April of 2008, Delta and Northwest announced their intent to join forces and create the world's largest what? Oil company, TV network, investment bank, airline. That would be D, airline final. Very nice job. The category snack for 300. Which of these snack foods is typically packaged in a cylinder instead of a bag or a box? Teddy Grahams, Pringles, Fig Newtons, Goldfish. B, Pringles, final. Okay, good. Yes, sir. Country music, something you hear in Austin, Texas, for 500. Yeah. In a 1978 hit song, Waylon Jennings and Willie Nelson advised, Mamas, don't let your babies grow up to be what? Plumbers, singers, lawyers, cowboys. That would be D, Cowboys, final answer. Yeah. That's right. You go back to Austin if I miss that one. <laughs> This is for $1,000, Jay, an important question here. In American Sign Language, raising three fingers, the ring, middle, and index fingers, forms the sign for what letter? U, V, W, X. C, W, final. Absolutely correct. You got it. Don't walk out with nothing. <laughs> Don't, that's right. You've accomplished that. You have to leave with at least $1,000. You are 10 questions away from a million. Another look at those categories. Questions are going to get harder now, so we're going to put some more time on the clock here. We're going to have 30 seconds for each question, okay? Mm -hmm. And also, because you've reached the $1,000 mark, you've earned our Ask the Expert. Okay, so Lynn is hanging out there waiting for you whenever you're ready for her. Sounds good. Okay, we're going to put 30 seconds now on that clock. The uh, category is bodies of water, $2,000, the question. Which of these bodies of water was named for the oysters once harvested there? Pearl Harbor, Cape Cod Bay, Prince William Sound, Lake Michigan. Well, oysters, pearls come from oysters. It's the only one that makes sense. Uh, let me just double check. Sure. I've got a few seconds left. Prince William Sound after Michigan doesn't make sense. Cape Cod, Cape Cod's. Pearl Harbor, A, final answer. Yeah, it made total sense. Good thinking there. You have it right. All right, Jay. Recent movies, the question for $4,000. In 2008, who directed a film that was the subject of a scathing review titled The Happening Ain't Happening? Steven Spielberg, M. Night Shyamalan, Michael Moore, Oliver Stone. I didn't see it, but I'm familiar with all his movies because I liked his early ones. It's definitely not ACD. It's definitely B, final answer. I won't take the time to read his name. Yeah, you've got it right. <laughs> M. Night Shyamalan, you have it right for $4,000. Jay stayed away from a million, go for $8,000, still has all of his lifelines. We'll be right back after this. Jay Rosen, 
Rosenberg from Texas, and they do things big in Texas. A father of 10, that's a lot of mouths to feed and kids to put through college. Doing a great job so far. You got 4,000, eight away from a million. Your wife Leslie is in the audience along with Jason and Sophie, your kids. Kids, how's dad doing? What do you think? Good. Thumbs up? Yeah, yeah I bet. <laughs> Jay, you're doing, as I said, a really wonderful job. And the next category coming up is baby names, which should be something you know oh, a little bit about. <laughs> Are you ready to play? I hope it's one of mine. <laughs> ready? Yes, I am ready. All right, let's find out if it is. Let's go. All right, 30 seconds on the clock, Jay. Baby names for 8,000. According to the Social Security Administration, what name was among the 10 most popular for girls born in the U.S. in both 1907 and 2007? Dorothy, Mildred, Elizabeth, Ruth. I'm going to ask the audience. Okay, I'm going to freeze that clock very quickly with 25 seconds. Audience, Jay, need your help on your keypads. Vote now. Well, 88% believe it is Elizabeth. That is a big number. Jay, That's you have 25 huge. seconds left okay, on I... the clock, and we're going to start it now. Okay, I'm going to trust you guys. I don't have an Elizabeth, but it's a great name. I'm going to go see Elizabeth. Final answer. Well, there's always time to fit another one in. You can make one of You got it right. All right, Jay. Cars and trucks. The question is for $16,000. 30 seconds on that clock. The style of heavy-duty pickup truck known as a dually gets its name because it has twice the standard number of what? Doors, engines, headlights, rear wheels, dually. Okay, the only one that really makes sense, double, double wheels would make the most sense for heavy duty. I've got a few seconds, I don't want to rush my answer. You have lifelines left. This is twice the standard number, doesn't make engines, headlights, no. I'm going to go D, seconds. final answer. It needs the extra wheels, you have $16,000. You'd be nervous playing this game, but you said you're pretty calm, and I'm seeing it. Yeah, I don't know calm. why. I thought I was going to be like a bowl of jelly. No. I really did. And, you're you calm know, or catatonic. This is not the rehearsal, though, right? This is, this the is real. This is real. One? Oh, okay. oh, no, no, no. This is real. And you want this to be real because you're oh, going I for, sure for $25,000 here. Jim. Wow. See the question? Because its 1999 album had the same name, what band sued Showtime in 2007 over the title of its show, Californication? Rage Against the Machine, Green Day, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Limp Biscuit. I am going to phone a friend. Okay, let's stop that clock at 23 seconds and take a look at who you have standing by. Leah, your niece, a postdoctoral fellow, your friend Scott, and your other friend Bob the Computer Geek. So who is it going to be? I am going to go with my niece, Leah. Leah. All yes. right, we're going to get Leah on the line. Hello? Hey, Lee, it's Meredith Vieira from Millionaire. How are you? A little stressed out. You are? Yes. There's no reason to be stressed out just because your uncle's going for $25,000. Oh, no, there's no reason because no. I certainly couldn't pay him back if I get this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay, you have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Leah, the 1999 album called Californication. What band? That was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Are you 100% certain? Oh, thank you, Leah. I knew you'd come through with me. Okay, no doubt about it, right? No doubt about it. Red Hot Chili Peppers, 1999, Californication. Great album. I love it. I've listened to it many times. Can you name a song Great. from it? Um, not right now. I'm too stressed. <laughs> Well, thank you, thank you. She's All right, the she... first niece of our whole family, my first niece. And well, okay, she said, you know, remember what she said? I know exactly okay, what she said. Okay, well, you have 23 seconds, Jay. Start that clock up again now. That would be C, Red Hot Chili Peppers, final answer. Oh, yeah, baby, it is Red Hot Chili Peppers. doing a bang-up job, 25000 We'll see you next time. 
folks will see you as well, I hope. Until then, from New York, everybody, bye-bye. Because you're just five questions away from one million dollars. And here's a reminder of what those remaining questions are all about. And you still have two lifelines to help you out. Double dip and ask the expert. And today we have a former half million dollar winner, Lynn Payne, who we can see at her home in Orlando, Florida, via Skype. So she'll be standing by to help you. And Jay, I'm hoping that you walk away with this Capital One check. For one million dollars. I never thought I'd ever family. see that, and this is just a wonderful. You're this alone is a great it. experience. Well, you're very close to it. Are Thank you ready you so to play? Much. I sure am. Okay, audience, are you ready to play? <laughs> they have 45 seconds on the clock now because the questions are more difficult. Canadian cuisine category for fifty thousand dollars. The traditional Quebecois dish, poutine, is a combination of cheese, curds, and gravy served atop what? Crepes, french fries, fried eggs, mushrooms. I am going to ask the expert. All right, we're going to freeze that clock at 36 seconds, and we're going to bring in our expert, $500,000 millionaire winner, Lynn Payne, who will contact with a free face-to-face -face Skype video call. There she is from Florida. Nice to see you, Lynn. It's so great to see you too, Meredith. You know, tell the audience, the last time I saw you, you were walking away with a check for $500,000. What did you spend the money on? Well, I saved most of it. Okay. Um, but it was a great life-changing amount of money. So the first thing I did when I got back was I wanted to give back because I had done so well. So there's an organization called Dress for Success and they help disadvantaged women who are re-entering the workforce to um, have look fabulous in some great new professional clothes. So I gave them a large contribution. That's a very nice thing to do, Lynn, to give back. It's important. And now Jay's hoping that, that you can help him out a little bit because he is going for $50,000. So I'm going to feed you the question, Lynn, right now. Let's see, poutine, a combination of cheese curds and gravy served atop. Jay, I don't want to lead you astray. I haven't heard of it, and I don't know. And if I were in your position, I would not go with this. I'm just going to give you a gut reaction. And I would probably say fried eggs, but I do not know that that's right. It's just a gut feeling. All right, Lynn, thank you for that. Lynn's saying gut feeling fried eggs. She's even advising you not to go with it. You have 36 seconds. I'm going to start that clock up again right now. Okay, I am thinking it's a free guess. It is. But if I miss it, I lose. It's not quite free since I lose my opportunity to continue on. I think I will try to use my double dip at this point, and I know it's a commitment. Fine. Okay, we're going to stop that clock as we did at 22 seconds. Again, no risk, because if you get both of them wrong, exactly. you will leave with $25,000. Give me your first answer. Well, I've got to go with the expert. I'm going to try fried eggs. That's a final right to advise you not to go with her. It is not fried eggs. Ooh. 22 seconds left on the clock, Jay. We're going to start it up again. Final answer. Since it's traditional, I don't think it would be French fries. Crepes as well, I think is a distractor. There's probably a lot of mushrooms in that area. 10 seconds left. My second choice is going to be mushrooms. Final answer. Not mushrooms. Uh, Let's see what it. French fries. It was French fries. Well, so now you know. Traditional. Jay, I didn't think they were that you old. Have ten children and one wife. Very, very proud of you. Twenty-five thousand dollars.